Hey guys, Scotty here coming in with another video, guys. We just saw that Joe Biden dropped out the other day and we're seeing that Kamala Harris is his replacement. And I just wanted to say, cause my last couple video guys, we were talking about this stuff. I mean, I can only think guys, this is setting up something bigger that's about to happen, whether we're here up to that day or not. And guys, I just wanna tell you right now, I mean, look around this world, there's stuff going on. The heat is being turned up on everyone right now. And I just wanna tell you guys, this is a message I gave a while, or like a, probably like a month or two ago, but guys, it's easy to have faith when everything is going well for you and everything's good in your life, okay? And why am I saying this? It's because guys, right now, a lot of people are going through things. A lot of people, the storm is here, stuff is happening to them. And that stuff should be drawing you near to Jesus, not farther away from him, guys, because, I mean, guys, if something bad happens and all of a sudden you're like, oh, well, I don't have faith anymore in Jesus. I mean, did you have faith to begin with? And that's what I'm trying to say, guys, is we got to keep our faith through the storm, through these things going on, because that is what faith is, guys. It's not right when something bad happens, just giving up. And I see comments right now of a lot of people saying, oh, if he doesn't come by this date, then I don't believe in it anymore. I don't believe in this anymore. I don't have faith in Jesus anymore, yada, yada. And it's just, guys, those people didn't have faith to begin with, okay? Because I'm telling you right now, this whole time for the past four years, I've known the rapture is coming. And there's been times when I start thinking because of me reading things from other people, where I start getting in my own head and then God reminds me, yes, it's coming. And so it's like they put doubt in your head and things like that. And guys, I'm telling you, we got to be absolute. We can see these things. You can see them on my channel. I show you guys the birth pains, all these things going on all across the earth. I mean, guys, there's millions of people at a time where all of these things are going on. It's an unprecedented time where millions of people are having rapture dreams and telling you what's coming guys so i mean guys this time is like no other and we know that things are getting closer and closer every day guys so i just want to tell you not to give up right now and to keep having faith through this storm because we can clearly see the storm guys we can see the great tribulation could be any day right now with the things we're seeing in this world and i really believe guys the antichrist is most likely going to be here soon you know who I think it is if you've been on this channel. And I think everything right now, even the past couple of days, is setting that up. So I just want to tell you guys to keep going right now. Keep relying on Jesus. And if you don't know Jesus, guys, put your faith in him. Put 100% belief in him, guys, through your heart. And I'm going to show you how to do that with this video. Because, guys, you need to be born again with the Holy Spirit to get into heaven. But guys, keep the faith and keep going because it's only going to get more and more and more towards this period. And guys, we're taken care of because we trust and believe in Jesus, the way, the truth, and the life. Jesus' suffering on the cross is a picture difficult to understand. He was betrayed by a friend, arrested, and falsely sentenced to death. He was beaten and whipped, a crown made of thorns pressed into his head. Bearing the cross, he stumbled and staggered up the hill to Golgotha. Each step of the journey getting worse, spit on, cursed, and mocked. But Jesus never looked back. He kept going. Jesus could have avoided the cross, called down fire from heaven, or summoned legions of angels to rescue him, to save him. But Jesus was not interested in saving himself. He was all about saving you. Every detail of this torturous path to the cross was part of God's plan to bring you to him. We're all broken. We've all messed up and have all made wrong choices. And no one had to teach us as a baby about anger and selfishness. We just came out that way sort of a sin covering. But on the cross, with his blood he shed, the Bible says Jesus blotted out our record of sin, nailing it to his cross. 
the blood of Jesus washes away our sin covering. And his blood is our ticket. Our ticket to enter through a new door, a forever relationship door with God. So what do we do with this great news? The Bible says, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. You see, it's not enough to believe in Jesus with just your head. You must believe with your heart. Now, there's just one person alone at the foot of the cross. It is you. What will you say to Jesus? Say, thank you, Jesus, for shedding your blood for me. I'm giving you my heart today, Jesus. I do believe you died for me and that you were raised from the dead for me. Please give me a new heart and a new life right now. God hears you and he is answering your prayer. The love of God is being poured out within our hearts through the Holy Spirit. 